nations plan ahead for the future, there should be a look back from history. A glance of the present and a sharp eye gazing into the future. Qatar Foundation is seeking to create a leading edge in urban planning, setting the pace and building interactive facilities, relying on traditional Arabic architecture and modern futuristic designs. Convention Center Car Park is another major spot in QF Symphony. Usually car parks are ugly buildings. People don't care about them and they are discreet or hidden somewhere else. But we chose uh, really to do differently here. Uh, to have a very nice building designed with beautiful facades and uh, for a functional buildings, which is the car park. So we were very keen on, on really designing uh, four elevation and five, uh, even the fifth elevation for the car park, where it is, uh, you can see it here, uh, to be uh, a very pleasant uh, architectural feature and addition to our facilities. Atkins started out with a, several design options on the, on the car park. Uh, we presented three master plan options to Qatar Foundation. Uh, from which one site plan was selected and from that site plan we developed a further three concept designs um, and presented those to Qatar Foundation. Being a services building next to a prestigious convention centre, Qatar Foundation made sure it was perceived as an iconic design with smart solution and capacity. Qatar Foundation um, came to us at a very early stage in Education City's development. Um, they were quite clear that um, this car park um, was a very important contribution to that and importantly that it added to and it built up the status of the convention centre itself. Um, very important to them. We were fortunate in that we, we won the tender. Um, and they asked us to look at a number of solutions to this. Um, originally on a, a much larger site, um, they asked that we looked at a space for 3,000 cars um, with possibility to expand to 4,500 cars. And the idea was that this would originally have been on two floors uh, with a bus station next to, to the building. Um, and that if they wanted to grow, then they would be able to build onto the, uh, park onto the roof. Um, we looked at a number of solutions to that um, and looked at how efficient, how we could make it uh, and proposed or suggested to them that they could save a lot of land if we looked at a multi-storey car park rather than a low rise. I think maybe best to explain the overall vision of Qatar Foundation in this project. Clearly there is a, a very high profile a building next to, door to the Convention Centre car park being the, the Convention Centre itself. Um, our design was needing to have a synergy with that building um, whereas we didn't want to overpower the National Convention Centre but at the same time we wanted to complement the building and provide something that was iconic uh, in its design and in its appearance. So that was one of the main drivers for, for the project. The original design was done in five multi-storeys car park. The wave structure is a predominant feature of the design. With this type of construction, there is no need to provide additional ramps to serve the car park. Ramps become part of the parking facility. The ramps which are constructed of precast holocaust slabs were at the same time the parking decks for the cars. They meet at strips which connect each parking ramp to a floor. The 
the space between the adjacent ramps was closed by a stainless steel mesh which spanned vertically to resist the impact loads of cars and form a safety net between both floors. The main driver for the waveform of construction was to optimize the site. Um, what, what you get with this type of construction is you don't have to provide additional ramps and spiral ramps to, to serve the car park. You actually use the ramps as part of the, the parking um, facilities. So you actually get more car parks in the same amount of space um, and it's a very efficient design for a, for a car park. A surprising element of the design and the external look is the facade. It was introduced to create an unusual aesthetic appearance of the car park, a metallic mesh surrounding the building. Another predominant feature of the design is the, the facade, the lattice uh, screening, um, which is primarily a visual uh, consideration to the design, but it also provides a function. Um, one of the, the aspects of a multi-storey car park or a large car park of this nature is that it requires sufficient cross ventilation um, to enable any uh, ventilation to the car park in terms of both a fire strategy and also for build up of uh, fumes and, and, and the like. So we needed to come up with a facade treatment that allowed sufficient ventilation throughout the uh, footprint of the car park. So that was a primary driver for the design. The perimeter of the building is kept open with chaotic facade formed of aluminium tubes, which provide partial shading and allow air circulation for the floors. The car park design was well studied to craft an aesthetic, pleasing facility that doesn't conflict with the original design of the convention centre. The car park is unique by appearance and through its external landscape that represents a unique feature to match the desert surrounding landscape. Um, they had natural concerns because they were, didn't want the car park itself to dominate the convention centre. Um, and we, as part of our studies, had to keep the height down. Um, and so what we looked to do was try and group everything into a small area and drop the thing as low as we possibly could so we had to keep all the floor to floor heights down. Um, and then make an underground connection to the car park, to the convention centre itself. The external walls and landscaping walls was featured by nine ramps that access the building, each with a sliding gate. The hard landscape have some featured walls with paints. Uh, the soft landscaping have special plantations, uh, about 40,000 shrubs that can sustain a desert, the desert weather. Uh, for the soft landscaping also there are some features which is the chaotic placed walkways with special paved elements. The car park is designed for 3,000 car park spaces and with ability to expand to 4,500 car park spaces. The construction form allows adding two future stories on top of the existing car park. This construction form is reinforced concrete columns with beams supporting precast plank. They form the structure of the car park, which is interconnected with the convention center through an underground tunnel at basement level. So we were to minimize people's walking distance from any point in the car park um, to which they reached uh, conditioned space. Um, so they were quite clear about their vision, the way they should move forward, how this connected to uh, an important facility in Doha and that it should be an iconic solution. Um, in other words, something that matched 
the grandeur and scale of the convention center itself. The cores traffic people to connect from the parking floors to the basement through escalators, down to the basement, which direct the traffic to the service public transport area and to a tunnel of 180 linear meter length. The horizontal movement of the traffic was facilitated through a horizontal people mover system installed in the tunnel, including eight escalators having a length of 140 linear meter. We have a basement area which uh, accommodates the pedestrians to get from the car park to the National Convention Centre. The basement concourse is linked to the National Convention Centre via a subway which is about 150 metres long and this is formed via through a concrete uh, construction, concrete box construction and it links the two structures together. Car Park falls uh, in the overall strategy of Qatar Foundation having Education City uh, a pedestrian friendly uh, campus. So you will see uh, in, the, in the near future uh, several car park structures uh, on the periphery of Education City where uh, ride and park strategy is going to be adopted where you can come on the periphery, you enter the, your car park, your car, you, you put your car and then you jump into a people mover system that will be implemented to give you access to all uh, the buildings within Education City. Buses and taxis were thought about at ground level in a vast covered area with special features and entrances. We have a bus concourse at ground floor level inside the car park and this is also a fairly unique feature because it requires that we have a double volume space to ventilate the bus concourse area and also we need large spans, open spans, to enable sufficient space for buses to enter and exit the car park. The capacity of the building is about 3,100 3, passenger cars and 20 bus spaces under the covered traffic concourse. Taxi cars were allowed to enter the building at the first floor without mixing with other vehicles through a bridge at the west side and were discharging through a ramp to the north side of the building. In the car park, the cores and spaces are tagged with different colours each for every core and relative parking areas. The car park has a total build-up area of 138,000 square metres, divided in five storeys and one basement various utility system. The building is equipped with different systems, such as fire detection and alarm system in all closed areas as well as manual station in open areas for occupant to activate the alarm. The system is also supported by public address that will play a message to evacuate the building. Furthermore, in case a fire is detected, the fire alarm system will, will stop the HVAC system and start the, the smoke exhaust fans and make up fresh air fans in order to prevent asphyxiation. The floors above ground are naturally ventilated, while basement and cores are controlled by fan coil units served via a chilled water system. The HVAC system is fully monitored by the BMS system, allowing the operator to have a convenient way of setting the cooling levels in different zones. security system, around 330 cameras monitor and record various areas of the car park, whereas access control is used to either monitor or to provide access to different locations. An emergency phone system, code blue, 
is used to provide the occupant contact with the security personnel in the control room in case of emergency. As the car park is serving the convention center, specialized entry points are stationed in the basement and equipped with the latest X-ray scanning technology and metal detection. Some other systems are involved as well in the car park building, such as a lighting system. A control system, however, in case of power failure emergency system, will switch automatically by means of an ATS to a standby generator that supplies the lift, fire pumps, smoke exhaust fans and other critical systems. The parking guidance system and signage are used to guide to free parking slots. There are also automated pay machines at entry and exit of the buildings. Visitors can pay their bills in lobbies with cash or credit cards. Perfection is one of Qatar Foundation's missions. Perfection not only in education and research, but also in architectural designs. This car park is unlike any other car park in the world. Qatar Foundation wanted to have a unique building that reflects uniqueness, perfection and speciality within Education City. So car park is a very important and vital infrastructure. So we are very worried, uh, uh, aware of the importance of car, enough car parking. Uh, and it has been designed uh, in, in, the in a state-art uh, way where all technologies of really making a car park uh, user-friendly has been adopted to achieve its target. I think one thing that needs to be commended about this project is the overall vision, um, Qatar Foundation's overall vision for the project. They have entrusted their their capabilities in Atkins as a designer and we're very proud to have worked with Qatar Foundation and QP on this project. Qatar Foundation's mission is to prepare the people of Qatar and the region to meet the challenges of an ever-changing world and to make Qatar a leader in innovative education and research and position it significantly on the world map. To achieve that mission, Qatar Foundation is setting unique buildings and facilities and centers to serve that vision in line with commitment to the principle that a nation's greatest natural resource is its people. And Qatar Foundation is building the future for its people.